Food and life, such a beautiful thing. Don't you think? If you guys are enjoying this content, don't forget to like this content here. Also, click on the bell. Come on, be a part of the notification. Here we go, guys. Start it off like this. The best, I want to say prime rib sandwich or steak sandwich you guys will ever feast your guys' eyes upon. So, it's pretty late night right now, guys, and I have to cook this beforehand, and I'll just show you guys. So, cook your prime rib beforehand. I have the oven preheated at 510 Fahrenheit. Let's start with the seasoning, which we got some pork salt here, maybe two cups of it. Dry basil here, which I'm just going to throw in two tablespoons of. Two tablespoon or just one tablespoon of black pepper. One tablespoon of white pepper. We got two tablespoons of onion powder. Teaspoon of dry thyme. And we got this smoked paprika. I'm gonna go two tablespoons of this. That was with all that seasoning in. Okay, bring you guys over here. We got that prime rib here. We got that olive oil. I'm gonna smother this with olive oil. Next, take that beautiful clean hand of yours. Rub it in. Massage it in very nice, okay? Front and back. Oh man, who's drooling? <laughs> Somebody poke my prime rib. I didn't poke it. Somebody poke it. We'll find out who, guys. We'll find out who. Okay. Take our dry rub. Rub it on, guys. Rub it on very well, actually. Don't worry about the salt, guys. Majority of the salt here will not soak up into this big piece of prime rib. I think the only thing that will be salty is the outside. Like, if you slice this part, it's going to be salty. And you just get like a little thin slice of this, so just don't worry, all right? Just pack it on. I'm not even sure who I seen last time who cooked the prime rib. I only added like this much salt on their prime rib. It was crazy, guys. I knew that was black. For sure it was black. <laughs> I should have commented. I forgot who it was, but I knew for a fact that prime rib was bland. 100%. Get another tray here. I'm gonna take my beautiful rub down prime rib, throw it here. I was preheated at 510. Take this, throw it in. Second rack from the bottom. Close this up. I'm gonna cook this for about 40 minutes, guys. After 40 minutes, I'm gonna turn off the heat completely and let this prime rib sit in the sham for two to three hours without opening this. All right, guys, okay? You guys got it? 510. 40 minutes, full blast, okay? After 40 minutes, we turn off the heat and let it sit in the sham without opening this for about two to three hours, all right? Good morning, guys. Our prime rib is cooked, cooled, then threw in the fridge, wrapped up. Getting ready today just to slice it up, guys. But in the meantime, we gotta do this. We gotta make our bread. So, to make this beautiful bread, I got a cup of warm water here, one tablespoon of dry yeast. To feed this beautiful yeast, we got a tablespoon of sugar. I'm gonna whisk this in and let this yeast and sugar activate. There you, go. you see all that beautiful foam there? Yeast activated. So to this, two cups of flour going in. And I wanna do a half a tablespoon of salt there. I never throw in salt, I don't know why, but this time I'm gonna throw in salt. So take that beautiful clean hand of yours, mix that in guys. And all we're looking for guys, when we're making fresh, beautiful baked dough, or fresh, beautiful baked bread, it's a nice soft dough. Always look for a nice soft dough. We make it fresh, beautiful baked bread. I don't even know why I said fresh baked dough, but fresh bread. Once you got this mixed in, all we're gonna do, cover this and let this proof for 40 minutes, guys. Let's make our cracked cheese sauce. So I got a tablespoon of butter here. To this butter, a tablespoon of flour. Cook this flour in with the butter. Don't burn the butter. <laughs> Flour, actually. Butter and flour infused. We got a cup of cream here. A cup of chicken stock. Cook this up. We're gonna cook this up on a medium heat until it becomes nice and thick. Once my sauce has started thickening up, I got some onion powder here, one tablespoon of this. 
I got some smoked paprika. I'm gonna do a tablespoon of this as well. Mix this in. Also, guys, gonna do a little twist and take on this. Got that cheese whiz. I'm gonna throw some cheese whiz in as well. Let's throw two big heaping scoop. Uh, let's do three. Three big heaping scoop. Mix that in. Turn off the fire. Whiz. Got some mozzarella cheese here. So one cup of this beautifulness in. Mix this in. Thicken this up a bit. It's just beautiful. Last touches, Louisiana hot sauce. Maybe three tablespoons of this. There it is. Nice, simple, easy tweak on cracked cheese sauce. Complete. Those nice and proofed. All we're gonna do, take this pan, take this sheet of pan, Throw some oil on it first. Next, take this. Take this. Put a flour on my bread scooper outer. Scoop out your bread. Best investment ever, guys. Look at that. Look how fast it is. All we're gonna do now, watch closely, haters. All we're gonna do, I'm gonna push you guys this way, or we're gonna push the dough this way and show you guys the chop. Car chop? Ugh. What part of that chop was fake, guys? You tell me. Tell me the duration, okay? Tell me. <laughs> okay, all we're gonna do now, take that one half beautiful pride chop, roll this up like a beautiful sausage. Nice beautiful sausage. Stretch this out. Take this, ah yeah. Push it over. Okay, again. Flatten this out, roll this up like a nice little sausage. Like so. Stretch this out, take this right onto our pan. Let this proof for additional 40 minutes before we start baking it, guys. I want to introduce you guys to the new member of QT Gang. Call this guy Mr. Slicer. <laughs> so the brand is ProCut, guys. So if you guys are asking or wanting to know, ProCut is my guy, all right? All right, let's start off like this, our prime rib. So once you guys finish cooking it, right? You guys can just eat it right away, or do what I do, let this completely cool, and throw it in the fridge, and slice it up for tomorrow, guys. So, nice beautiful prime rib. Change of plans. We gotta bring Mr. Slicer over here because the wire is not long enough. So, plug it in, start this bad boy up. Okay. First slice of the day. So I'm just gonna adjust this blade for now. And see what I can do. So far so good guys. Nice beautiful thin slices. But look at these slices. Yeah, it's not too shabby, guys. Meat's nice and sliced. I think the only bad thing now is cleaning Mr. Slicer. <laughs> Who wants to clean this for me? Huh? 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 Any takers? Here we go. Time to bake our bread. So, I've been preheated at 500 degrees Fahrenheit. I have a little water pan down here to you guys. When I open it, be careful, guys. It will steam up to your face. So, it's very hot, okay? So, back off a bit. Let it steam away. Bread's proofed for the second time. Toss it in, guys. Baking time, six to eight minutes. Six to eight minutes up, your bread is complete. So we're just gonna take it out and let this cool. Look how beautiful it is. Rate my bread, one to 10. Not too shabby, right? Not too shabby for a non-baker, right? <laughs> bread nice and cooled down. All we're gonna do, I chop the ends. Nice and beautiful. Drop this in. And we'll chop these right in half. Now I'm just gonna cut it down. One more signs for this, please. Look at that bread. Is it like that? <laughs> it's so beautiful. 
Look at it. Nice, soft, airy, and delicious. The smell of fresh bread can't be beat. Oh, it's beautiful. Last one. Take a sniff of this. Oh, oh man, that's beautiful. Okay, what are we gonna do now? Take this, put them to the side here, and I'm gonna toast these up. Toast this up, then we'll start everything, assembling everything. Bread's nice and toasted. Oh man, look at that. You guys see that? <laughs> okay, prime rib time. So all I'm gonna do now is heat this up. That's it, nothing to it, just heat it up guys. It's seasoned, it's cooked, and it's delicious. All we need to do is heat this beautiful thing up. I know it looks a little raw, but I like it. hungry. <laughs> Let's come through guys. Beautiful cracked cheese sauce on top. Like so. Gotta love cracked cheese sauce. Like this, push you guys back again, and then more room. Nice. What do you guys think about this? Oh man. I hate when that phone rings. Not now, fam. I know guys, you guys be like, what is that noise? <laughs> there it is guys when are you guys gonna come by and grab some my take my twist on the steak cheese guys not the philly cheese the steak cheese okay not the philly cheese okay big shout out to philly though rate my steak cheese you know what rate my philly cheese <laughs> beautiful philly cheese complete come through guys nothing too tricky nothing too fancy just a nice steak cheese sandwich, guys. Check this out. Guys, buy this. Focusing? Good time. Good time. He's got it. Sorry, I'm moving it, guys, but I just want you guys to peep the back. Good time. <laughs> He's got it. Nice. Come closer for this bite, guys. Look at that cheese on there. Look at that. It's nice and packed in. See that? Super pumped for this. Oh man. Philly. Give me your blessing. Mm. Look how soft this bun is. Listen to it. That's what a good Philly cheesesteak are. Wait, a cheesesteak supposed to sound like. Oh man. A slicer is such a good investment. The thinly sliced meat guys does works wonder or it does is wonders, is wonders, works wonders. Oh my. Mm. Next, I got some of this. My hands are greasy. Look. Check this out. California hot peppers. Give me a second, guys. 
I got him the guide. <laughs> Guys, I'll buy this. Quick time. It's like the... What is that pepper called? What is that pepper call from Papa John's? Like, right, quick time guys. You guys got it. Nice. Super pumped for this. Mm hmm. Peppuccino, that's what it is. But a little spicier. Guys, with the pepper in your mouth, quick time. Guys got it. Nice. Pumped for this. Alright. Prime rib is the top cut. It cannot be beat. Mm. It's a not big beat. Traditional, it's um, ribeye. When I open my shop, guys, it's gonna be sliced prime rib. Fresh bread. Crock cheese sauce and these peppers here. Oh man. I'm coming. This is the most amazing thing ever. I think it goes, I did not go as well. I think it goes, or it, it comes close. To the Philly cheesesteak. I'm not sure if I want to call it the Philly cheesesteak. But with these peppers though. It's too legit. Mm -hmm. I will not change anything about this recipe. but to put more meat in. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Also, don't forget to pick a one of your pop shirts for the last beautiful thing shirt. Like, share this. Peace out.